Bartholomew the bear had a problem. A delicious, sticky, golden problem. He'd run out of honey. Now, Bartholomew wasn't known for his patience. He lumbered through the forest, sniffing the air, his nose twitching for the sweet scent. Then, he saw it. A magnificent beehive nestled high in an oak tree, buzzing with life. Bartholomew grinned. Honey jackpot. He lumbered towards the tree, ignoring the frantic buzzing growing louder. A tiny bee, no bigger than his thumb, darted out. Hold on there, big fella, it buzzed, its voice surprisingly strong. This is our honey, Bartholomew scoffed. Honey is for everyone to enjoy, little bee. He reached out a giant paw, ready to scoop up the hive. The bee, whose name was Beatrice, wasn't about to give up her home. She stung Bartholomew right on the nose. The bear roared in surprise, swatting at his face. The hive wobbled precariously. Suddenly, Bartholomew realized something. He wasn't just after the honey. He'd also almost destroyed the bee's home. He hung his head in shame. Beatrice, seeing his regret, landed on his paw. Look, she said, we bees work hard for our honey, but we also share it with creatures who respect us. Bartholomew understood. I was wrong, he rumbled. Is there anything I can do to make it up to you? Beatrice buzzed thoughtfully. Actually, there is. We need help carrying pollen back to the hive. It's too heavy for some of the younger bees. Bartholomew's eyes lit up. Here was a way to help, a way to earn some honey. For the rest of the day, Bartholomew lumbered through the flower meadows, his fur dusted with pollen, gently carrying the heavy loads back to the hive. By evening, Beatrice and the other bees were grateful. They offered Bartholomew a generous amount of honey, not just for his work, but for his kindness. Bartholomew ate his fill, the honey tasting sweeter than ever before, because it was earned with respect. From that day on, Bartholomew and Beatrice became unlikely friends. The bear learned that patience and cooperation were far more rewarding than greed.